Typically when you develop an application, you have your client side logs over here in the browser and your server side logs over here in your server application. So for example, I have a node server over here where I'm just logging out statements. And then I have some HTML code here where I'm also logging out statements. However, my Chrome extension console log right here can make it so we get all these logs in one place. So if I refresh this page right here, we have this is a browser log, which is this log here. And we also get our server logs, which is this one here and this one here, which are these two logs over here in the Express application. And we can tell the difference by this has this little server icon where this one doesn't. So the server logs also give the location and that sort of information. We can also see the location of all these files. So if I click on this, it'll show us the location of this console log. But essentially my Chrome extension here makes it so we can have our server and browser logs in the same place and also as friendly pop-ups. And so out of the box, this Chrome extension will pick up client logs, which is enabled with this toggle here, but it will not by default pick up server logs. The way server logs are set is by setting specific headers on the response. So I created, if you're using Node and Express, a simple middleware called Witcode console log middleware that will handle all this for you. But essentially, the way this works is let me show you with my other Chrome extension right here called Witscepter. If I run this and I look at this response right here, so this is the request that loaded this web page. If I click send and I go to the response, if I look at the headers, I can see two headers are here, console log error and console log log, and those contain both a stack trace and also the actual message of the log statement. So we can then see this right here, this stack trace is how we get the location of the error, and then we get the full stack trace here. So we can see um, where it really boils down to. But so all the server logs come from these two response headers. So console log error and console log log. And so this means that my Chrome extension console log will work with any sort of backend code. Just make sure that you are setting the correct headers. And if you are using Node and Express, I've already created a middleware here called console log middleware that will do this for you. All you need to do is just add it as global middleware, pass in a configuration object with enabled set to true, and log to console can be whatever you want. Log to console means that it'll still be shown down here. So if I do false, for example, and refresh this, let me run this again. Now, if I run this over here, you can see we don't get anything logged to the console here. Whereas if we set this back to true and then run this again, now when we refresh the page, we get it logged here as well. And enabled, of course, is just gonna be if the headers are set on the response or not. And so a good way to do enabled, for example, is you would only want this, say, available in development mode, so you could do process.env equals development, then it's gonna be enabled, but disabled for production. And so also this middleware that I made right here is very small. It's only probably like a few kilobytes in size, so it shouldn't impact your bundle sizes. And like I showed right here, you can make it so it's only enabled in development mode. But if you like this Chrome extension, please consider downloading it, link in the description. Also my other Chrome extension, Witscepter right here, you can download too. If you like content like this and wanna be able to build Chrome extensions like this, check out my courses linked in the description. Besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.